Okay, go ahead. I'm Stephen. I'm doing uh, chapters 61, uh, 173, and uh, 199 from A Curious Incident of the Dog in My Head. <coughs> Mrs. Forbes at school said when Mother died, she'd gone to heaven. This is because Mrs. Forbes is very old and she believes in heaven. And she w wears tracksuit trousers because she says that they're more comfortable than normal trousers. <laughs> and one of her legs is slightly shorter than the other because of an accident on a motorbike. But when Mother died, she didn't go to heaven because heaven doesn't exist. Mrs. Peters' husband is of a car named the Reverend Peters, and he comes to our school sometimes to talk to us. And I asked him where heaven was, and he said it's, in, it's not in our universe. It's another kind of place altogether. The Reverend Peters makes a funny ticking noise with his tongue sometimes when he is thinking. And he smokes cigarettes, and you can smell them on his breath, and I don't like that. <laughs> I said that there wasn't anything outside the universe, and there wasn't, a kind of, uh, there wasn't another kind of place altogether. Except that there might be if you went through a black hole. But a black hole is what is called a singularity, and that means that it's impossible to find out what is on the other side, because the gravity of a black hole is so big that even electromagnetic waves like light can't get out of it, and electromagnetic waves are how we get information about things which are far away. And if heaven was on the other side of a black hole, then people would have to be fired into space on rockets to get there, and there aren't otherwise people would notice. I think people believe in heaven because they don't like the idea of dying, because they don't want to carry on. Uh, they don't want to carry on living, and they don't like the idea that other people will move into their house and put their things in the rubbish. The Reverend Peter said, "Well, when I say that heaven is outside the universe, it is really a matter of speaking. I suppose that the it really means is that they are God." And I replied, "But where is God?" And the Reverend Peter said that we should talk about this on another day when he had more time. What actually happens when you die is that your brain stops working and your body rots like Rabbit did when, we, when he died and we buried him in the earth at the bottom of the garden. And all these molecules are, were broken down to other molecules and they went to the earth and they were eaten by worms and went into the plants. And if we go and dig in the same place in ten years, there will be nothing except his skeleton left. And in a thousand years, even his skeleton will be gone. And that is all right because he is a part of flowers and the apple tree and the hawthorn bush now. And when people die, sometimes they are put into coffins, which means that they don't mix with the earth for a very long time until the wood of the coffin rots. But Mother was cremated, and this means that she was put into a coffin and burned up and ground up and turned into ash and smoke. I don't know what happens to the ash, and I couldn't ask the crematorium because I didn't go to the funeral. But the smoke goes out of the chimney and into the air, and sometimes I look into the sky, and I think that there are molecules of Mother up there or in clouds over Africa or the Antarctic. Between the, the roof and the shed and the big plant that hangs over the fence from the house next to the door, I could see the constellation Orion. <laughs> People say that Orion is called Orion because Orion was a hunter, and the constellation looks like a hunter with a club and a bow and arrow, like this. But this is really silly because it is just stars, and you can join up the dots in any way you wanted, and you can make it look like a lady with an umbrella who is waving, or the coffee maker Mrs. Shears has, which is from Italy, with a handle and steam coming out, or like a dinosaur. But, and there aren't any lines in space. So you can join the bits of Orion with bits of Lepis or Taurus or Gemini, and they, could, and they could be a constellation that was called the Bunch of Grapes or Jesus or the Bicycle. <laughs> Except they didn't have bicycle in Roman and Greek times, which is when they called Orion, Orion. And anyway, Orion is not a hunter, or a coffee maker, or a dinosaur. It is just Betelgeuse, and Bellatrix, and Anhelm, and Rigel, and 17 other stars I don't know the names of. And they are nuclear explosions billions of miles away. And that is the truth. <coughs> so, yeah. People believe in God because the world is very complicated, and they think it that it is very unlikely that anything as complicated as flying squirrels or the human eye or a brain could happen by chance. But they should think logically, and if they thought logically, they could uh, see that they only asked this question because it already happened and they exist. And there are billions of planets where there is no life, but there is nobody on this planet, on those planets with brains to notice. And it is like if everybody in the world was tossing coins, eventually someone would get 5,968 heads in a row and they would think that they were very special. But they wouldn't because there are millions of people who did get 5,968 heads. And there is life on Earth because of an accident. And it is a very special kind of accident. And for this accident to happen in this special way, there have to be three conditions. And these are, <laughs> one, things have to make copies of themselves. This is called replication. Two, they have to make small mistakes when they do this. This is called mutation. 
Three, these they have to be mistakes. The the mistakes have to be the same in their copies. This is called heritability. And these conditions are very rare, but they are possible and they cause life. And it just happens. But it doesn't have to end up with rhinoceroses and human beings and whales. It could end up with anything. And for example, some people say, how can, a ha how can an eye happen by accident? Because an eye has to evolve from something very, uh, something else, very like an eye, and it doesn't happen because of a genetic mistake, and what is the use of half an eye? But half of an eye is very useful because half an eye means that an animal can see half of an animal that wants to eat it and get out of the way, and it will eat the animal that has only a third of an eye, or 49% of an eye, because it hasn't got out of the way quick enough. And that animal is eaten and won't have babies because it is dead. And 1% of an eye is better than no eye. And people who think, and people who believe in God think God has put human beings on earth because they think human beings are the best animal. But human beings are just an animal and they will evolve into another animal. And that animal will be clever and it will put human beings into a zoo like we put chimpanzees and gorillas into a zoo. Or human beings will all catch a disease and die out and they, or they'll make too much population to kill themselves. And then there will only be insects in the world and they will be the best animal. And that's it. Okay.